And the next thing I'm excited to show you is two new integrations that we've added that'll allow you to export your notes into Notion and into Confluence. And we've added this feature because we heard from our customers that there's some cases where they want their meeting notes to live in Notion or in Confluence where they might have other documentation. And so we've added that to make it easy for you to access that information when you need it in those tools. So that fellow integrates seamlessly into your day-to-day -day and with these other tools. That's super exciting. So are you gonna show us how those integrations work? Yeah, so okay. how this works is if you go to your user settings, you'll see in the apps and integrations page, you will see two new cards here for Notion and Confluence. And once you've set up those integrations, it's super easy to use. So if we go back to our note, you can click send notes and you'll now see the option to export to Notion and export to Confluence. So let me show you what that looks like. So here I'll see the option to select which page I want the notes to go under. So I'm going to select engineering. Once I export, it's really quick. And now I can view those notes in Notion. So That's here amazing. you can see that these notes have been exported and there's a link back to fellow if you need to go back to the original note. And you can see everything's been included here, including the action items and who they're assigned to. That's super helpful. And I know a lot of our users love using Notion to document things uh, long term for their company. So I'm sure that a lot of them are doing a happy dance right now because they requested this integration a while ago. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> Next, I'll show you what it looks like to export your notes to Confluence. So again, I hit export to Confluence. I can select which space I want it to go to. I'm going to select a test space today and then which page I want it to go under as well. So I'm going to do it under some team meeting notes. And once I've done that, you can see those notes that have been exported into Confluence. Similarly, it'll link back to Fellow and include all the details that you had in your... So easy, Shannon. I'm always very impressed by how easy and magical our product team makes everything look. Um, so I heard there's one more update you're going to show us before Aiden joins us for the Q&A. So what is it? And the last thing I'm going to be showing you today is some updates we've made managing and adding images to your note. So we always want to continue to make this experience easier and easier for you. So what we've done is when you go and add an image to your note, by default, it will expand to show in the full width of the note. You can add a caption below the image just like you could previously, but now you can also collapse the image so it doesn't show fully expanded in the note if you want it to take up less room. You can also move it around really easily if you need to rearrange the content in your note. And the most exciting part is you can see it takes up the full width, but as soon as I add other images to this image strip, they'll automatically resize to be able to adjust to show all of those images. So this is a really great way to be able to display this information so that it's easily accessible in the note and you can quickly share it with your team. Uh, I love this feature because Fellow becomes the central place for all your meeting resources and notes, right? You can add graphics, add charts. And sometimes at Fellow, we do asynchronous meetings where like, we do status updates asynchronously, and it's really cool to see people uploading their charts and their updates in an image form. So thank you so much to our product team for making it easier for us to run productive meetings.